Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Kate and I post here vegan recipes and I talk about vegan and eco-friendly lifestyle. Today I'm in Croatia and I have a little bit of a more species kitchen than in Berlin, so that's very exciting. Um, however, I don't have all of my equipment, so it's a little bit of a hassle to do all of the recipes as I won't like them to go. As I promised in the previous ice cream video, I have for you today three recipes for popsicles. They're going to be very easy and very quick to make because who wants to spend time in the kitchen during the weather like that. I hope the weather around you is okay too. Um, I will make some more recipes when I'm back in Berlin, so pretty soon they will come up uh, for the popsicles that will be a little bit, not more complicated, but will require a bit of a different ingredients that I don't have available here in Croatia, but that will come in the next video, one of the next videos. <laughs> Anyways, without further ado, let's get straight into the recipes. So the first popsicle is a peach, lime and mint. Refreshing, light and simple. To make it we will start by cutting two medium sized peaches in half. Then we will remove the pit and roughly chop the flesh. Make sure that the peaches are ripe and sweet, otherwise the popsicles might not be as tasty. Once they're chopped we will place them in a cup of an immersion blender. Then we will add 20 medium sized mint leaves and juice from one lime which is about 40 milliliters. If you want, you can add some maple syrup or other sweetener of choice at this point. Then we'll blend it all until it's smooth and pour it into popsicle molds. I'm using stainless steel molds that are about 100 milliliters each. Then we'll place the top part of the mold and put the popsicles in the freezer for a few hours. But once you're ready to eat, leave the popsicles out for a few minutes or pour some water over them to make them come out easily from the molds. And remember that the popsicle mixture will be more flavorful than after it's frozen in the form of a popsicle, so make sure that you use really ripe peaches or add some sweetener. And that's it! Just enjoy your very healthy whole foods popsicle. As with peaches, it's important to use a ripe watermelon. To choose the right one, look for the one that is dark green and the little lighter spot that you can find on every watermelon is not white but yellow-green. Once we have a good watermelon, we will need to get about 400 grams of watermelon flesh. You can do it in any way you find the most suitable for you. Then we will remove the seeds. They are completely edible and whenever I eat watermelon, I eat the seeds, but they might create a popsicle experience less pleasant so in this case we will just remove them. Once the seeded we will place the watermelon flesh in a cup of an immersion blender. Then we will squeeze the juice from a lime and here is the tip, rolling the lime or lemon before cutting will make it easier to squeeze the juice out. We need about 4 teaspoons which is around half a lime. Then we will add it into the watermelon. And as with peach popsicles, you can add some sweetener at this point if you want, but my watermelon was very ripe and very sweet, so I just didn't add it. Next, we will blend it until smooth using an immersion blender and pour it into a popsicle mold. We will leave them in the freezer for a few hours and enjoy. As with all popsicles, you can pour some water over the frozen mold to make sure that the popsicle comes out fast or just let it warm up in the room temperature for a few minutes before eating. And last but not least, a very refreshing lemon popsicle with mint. I think it's my favorite, it's less sweet and perfect for hot summer days. We will start off by finely chopping 40 medium-sized mint leaves. They will be going into the popsicle, so you don't want leaves to be too big. We will place them in a cup and pour 200 milliliters of boiling water over them. Then we will let the mint tea brew for about 3 to 5 minutes and let it cool down to the room temperature. If you want, you can just make a simple mint tea with dried mint from the shop, but I think that the one with fresh mint leaves is just way better. In a container, we will mix the lemon juice with the mint tea stir and add sweetener if desired. Then we'll pour the content into popsicle molds and leave it in the freezer for a few hours. Once ready to eat, take the popsicles out to run some water over them or let them warm up in the room temperature for a few minutes and enjoy. As always, I would like to invite you to join me on my Instagram. I post there more often and 
a little bit more recipes, sometimes exclusive ones that you can find on this channel. Uh, and also I post some other stuff, so definitely make sure you join me over there. I would love to connect with you there, especially that I'm there a little bit more active and it's very easy to actually talk with each other over there rather than here. So I hope to see you there. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Make sure you also share this video if you think that anyone might be interested in it. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.